modern era. I mean, I've already been in the, uh, you know, the future era of information or whatever. What's what's the one beyond? Uh, I think it, maybe it's information. Signal rising. Don't know. World. Anyway, we've just met a load of stuff. Never again. Crater Lake, and there's the Earth satellite going up. Cool. Right, we're just about to meet a, a bunch of people now. Oh, including Sweden. And there's the Cree. There is the Cree. Right. This is useful. If I can... Well, actually, no. It doesn't matter anymore. I was after Cree for the Alliance and the map sharing, but it doesn't... Clearly doesn't matter anymore, so... Sure. Ah. Oh, wonderful. We've met everybody. And I get five era score for doing that. This is the right turn to have met everybody. Awesome stuff. Um, Heartbeat of Steam again. Go on then. That'll help with the space projects. Oh my god. Look at the map. Look at the map. It's gorgeous. I'm just... There you go. Look. Sorry. This is just... This is the me later. I'm leaving myself a nice shot of the map with the thumbnail. So without this like, you know, like the hovering white thing in the middle. I hate that. I'm like, right. I want to put this on the thumbnail of the video. But I always leave this flipping thing on. So there you go, Ryan. Don't say I don't do things for you. So these are the power players. There's a very strong looking Canada here. Spain have got a huge wedge of cities in. This is Babylon. Yeah, Babylon's doing okay. I feel like Byzantium are kind of... I mean, this is a lot of frozen land, but they're doing pretty well. This is Japan. Gaul. I mean, I think Russia have got to be the contenders, apart from me, for the biggest empire. I mean, I, I do have a very China-looking empire i think with the sort of the bit sort of comes off it like that oh man this map worked really well a highlands map with this many people you know what it makes me want to kind of like start again but you know with somebody that really goes to war with everybody now that would be that would be fun i love doing this where i can just like put all of my resources in the middle and just be like come on guys buy it who who wants to buy Fire in the disco! Yes! Fire in the gates of hell! I like the fact that we're just sort of slowly dismantling Sevia, Sivia, Skevia, and they genuinely, like, they can't do anything about it. <laughs> I'm just literally just migrating around their land, becoming more and more China shaped as, you, as we go. It's quite nice. What do you reckon then? Controversial question. Which is the better colour? The dark purple of Rome? or the lighter purple of Byzantium. Ooh, controversial one. Yeah, Roma just like, yeah, yeah, cool, peace. <laughs> I still haven't met you. Oh, Scotland, every time I go to peace or, or not, Scotland just feel like the need to chip in. It's like, please stop talking to me. Oh my goodness, this is just getting ridiculous. A joint war with Sweden for 87 gold per turn and 8,472 gold. Yeah, you know what? I'll take that. Mayans, uh, you, you gotta love it. <laughs> oh dear. That's absolutely nuts. Gonna finally start doing that thing where I get public works in to use my builders to speed up the projects. I think that's a good shout. Levy on mass, military research. None of these things are particularly exciting, really. I guess I could get another. Um, what's it? Is it still the immunity for garrison unit? I think that's gone, isn't it? Okay, well. Not that then. Uh, thank you. Five charge builder. Test this guy out. I think, uh, yeah, we'll just burn his charges. I've got seven, seven turns left in 216 production. If I go plonk like that, uh, two, so 180 production that gave. That's, that's not too bad. It halves the, halves the speed at which it sort of takes to get these things going. So that's got to be a good thing. Put the strategics in the box. Hey presto, it's 99 gold per turn. You know what? I don't even care if that's not the best deal. It's quick. Yeah, just from that one turn of trading, 99, 95, 59, 47, 48, 20, 42, 7. I think I got about 450 gold per turn just by selling a couple of rounds worth of resources. Yeah, that, that Nobel Prize was, was absolutely amazing at picking those up for me. Keep on adding production to the projects. Oh yes, it's all going well. This city can't decide whether it's on two or three amenities. It's really annoying. Go on to three. You're my capital. I wish I could press a button that's like focus amenities on this city. Ugh. Oi, don't you be neutralizing Pingala. Oh, spies are targeting my capital pretty heavily now. 
It is because I've got space projects and also it's a population 35 mega city. But, you know, apart from that, I don't know why people would want to be spying in here. It's mean. Look at all the beautiful ski resorts just below. That'll be quite a cool thing to see when you're skiing. Now just a space project being blasted off into the sky. But never mind. Right, Levy on Mass is now gone. Integrated space cell. That's wonderful. Uh, not Manhattan Project. That would be fun. Mars Colony. Ten, t ten turns? Ugh. That sounds awful. Okay, well at least I've got I've got one, two, three spies being made, and here's a fourth. Ugh, I've had enough. I've had enough. Oh yeah, I forget. I've got a huge, huge culture boost. Alright, a themed building would be something that would be quite useful actually. And also being able to put a military engineer down to get an airport outside of my original continent, which is uh where is this? Laurasia. So West Siberia would be a good place to do one if I could find where I left my military engineers. Actually, that was pretty good. Would that be one? Yeah, rapid deployment. Cool. All right, it's good to check. Always good to check. Oh, Edmonton Scott Research Station. Now, that would be something that I could, in theory, do up here. But Saul is currently absolutely crying, which means I'd have to get a good engineer to be able to rush that through. So we'll keep that on back burner for now. Boosty, boosty. Boom. Let's pick up Jane quickly as well. She'll be amazing for my capital. Ah, Korolev. He would be equally good. I don't care that we're in the information era. That's irrelevant because I just had my rocketry site disrupted. Flipping spies are everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere, but that's okay. Um, as I say, I've got a bunch of spies on their way, but they're just taking so many turns to actually get to the freaking city I want to... Ugh. Damn it! Like, look, look at all these spies. They're all there. Ugh. Anyway, doesn't matter. Bam! Jane Drew now puts uh, only plus two onto this city. That's that's not as good as I hoped it would be. Never mind. Just managed to get a themed building uh, by literally buying them from the market. So that was quite good. Governor title. Uh, so we've now got Magnus involved, so I need to get you to vertical integration. We've got a bunch of power stations around the capital. That should help to get a little bit more production in. Ah, seven amenities into my capital now. There we go, it's ecstatic again. That took a while, I don't know why that was so difficult to get this time around, but it really was. Yeah, Predictive right. systems, cultural heritage, and the world is flooding now. Oh, who's, who's flooding it the most? I'm so... Actually, I've put more coal into the atmosphere than I realize. Okay, maybe that's, uh, that's not good. That's not good. But no, actually loads of people are putting out uh, coal into the atmosphere now. So it's not just me, the world. The world is heating up uniformly. Thank God. All right. Okay, we got a bunch of spies now appearing in my capital. Oh, this is just, it's just taken so long to get them all here. Right, one in the uh, uh, spaceport, one in the city center. I'm going to stick one in my industrial zone, one in the neighborhood over here. I should be fine, I think. I think I'm going to pick up Korolev as well. Yeah, boosting stuff is good and it's good fun with him. Oh, Roebling next. Oh, I think Roebling's fantastic for my capital as well. I've already got plus seven amenities. I mean, that's going to be pretty sweet when that gets going, but still. I think Anchor Watt has just finished this uh, air aerodrome so we can get the hangar in. And I can also pick up an airport to boost globalization. Uh, even though I have the huge booster culture, I'm only I'm basically seeing if I can only pick up um, boosted civics. It just makes such a huge difference at, you know, rushing these things through. Right, this jet fighter is just going to have an absolute pig day on St. Louis. Oh my god, spies, spies everywhere. Where is it? Cryptography, get in there. Oh, I've had my industrial zone pillaged now. This is so annoying. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's, it's really fine. Can you not tell from the tone of my voice just how fine it is? Because it, it really is. Ugh. So annoyed. <laughs> never mind, never mind. What government's going to be good? I think synthetic technocrancy to give myself a city projects boost. I mean, I could get myself digital democracy in order to get a better assortment of policy cards. Uh, and also the amenities in all of the cities, but I think the production towards city projects and the power 
Actually, that works the best, so we'll get that one first. Here is your world mission. Optimization imperative. Okay, 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 okay. Right, communism was giving me quite a bit of production in my capital, but I think synthetic technocrancy is going to be just as good. I don't think it's worth keeping any of those military policy slots. Quite frankly, the extra movement and the extra aluminium. Yeah, they're not really worth it, are they? Five-year plan, public works, liberalism. Okay. Cryptography is useful. Basically, it's anything that's going to give me more ability to pick up production. So communist legacy actually gives me quite a lot of production in my capital. So I will keep that one. We'll go for e-commerce. A bit more production. That's nice. Um, let's also go, I mean, civil prestige. Establish uh, governors with at least two promotions, provide one immunity and two housing. That does give a little bit to my capital, so we will do that. And public transport gives me just a little bit for the neighborhoods in my capital as well. That all is a terribly useless selection, but it's one that hopefully should give my capital yeah, 161 production. Considering everything's still on fire, I will take that. That's not bad. How are we doing on the old peace prize? I'm actually in second. That's intriguing, but I want to be in first because of diplomacy point. Unfortunately, Vicky's doing really well on that old diplomacy. If I could find myself um, carbon recapture, that would help quite a bit, to be fair. 12 turns on smart power doctrine now, so yeah, maybe maybe that's not a great thing. Um, two diplomatic favor for every, every renaissance wall. You know what, I'm going to put that instead of civil prestige. Does that give me a bit more? Yeah, 10 more per turn. Okay, that helps me catch with Vicky. I love turning up to the quick deals with just <laughs> just all the strategics you could ever imagine. It's like, come on, guys. Who wants some? 106 gold per turn? Yes, Congo. Yes. What a deal. Rebling. Nice. He's awesome. He is awesome. Extra immunities in my capital. Bump. Just stops it from ever being anything less than ecstatic, which it should be because it's wonderful. That coal power plant. Fix that. Be the Mars colony, please. So bored. It's not bad. Troder it as well. 13 food, 6 production, 5 gold. Yes, Inca. Whoa-hoo. Oh, yeah, of course, I've got Magnus in there, haven't I? Nice. Just chop that. Boof. Two turns off the project. Nice. And then I'll boost it again with a builder. Okay. Cusco is finally moving. Finally moving. God, it took a long time for us to get to this position. But it, we did it. We did it. Oh. And we boost the project with a builder. Yes, we can. Mars Colony. We've got stadiums. We've got ski resorts. We've got brightly coloured buildings. But more importantly, we now have a Mars Dong floating into the air with a shoot of white behind it. N nobody, nobody comments on such things. Right, Counter Spy. This spy keeps getting knocked off every single turn. There must be so many foreign spies in my capital right now. It's nuts but there's the exoplanet expedition and Korolev is just about to put 1500 production towards it i don't actually know if that will boost it fully yes it will of course it will because i've got 30 percent bonuses and all the other immunity bonuses and stuff so there's the exoplanet expedition delightful now means hopefully yeah look i'm getting 14 aluminium per turn so i actually can afford to put a couple of the green stations into the sky first and then we can go from there keep another city Oh, did I did I already have that city? I think I may have already had the city. I may have already lost it, but yeah, you know what? It's good to have it back. Boosted the rocket. Oh, these Lagrange stations don't get boosted by builders very well at all. How boring. Never mind. What have we got now? Korea. Oh, I don't want to peel on the tiles I own. It's a bit like Salem. I want Stephanie. I want Stephanie and I want other people that boost projects. Ugh. I still want to get the diplomatic victory. I mean, that would be so much more fun. But, you know, it's not to be. Not to be, unfortunately. I think I can get one more point in the civic tree somewhere. But apart from that, yeah. How dull. How dull. Oh, Pingala's now not dead. That's great. One more laser station. There is nothing like it. Moving at the grand super speed of, I think, two light years per turn. Oh, look, the Congo is actually doing the moon landing now. That's cool. Oh, Congo, you've actually had a reasonably decent game. Look at this. Actually, they really have. How many capitals do they own? No, actually, they haven't taken over a single person's other capital. They've literally just kept their own cities. But yeah, that's, that's awesome. Oh, I can boost this one. Yay! A builder was actually useful. Isn't that 
brilliant. More Lagrange stations now. God, my aluminium output is brilliant. Never had enough aluminium to do this. Normally I've just got tons of bombers and very little in the way of improvements, but that works really well. Another station into the yeah. air. And silver. We were catching up. We were catching up, but we didn't get the point, unfortunately. But that's okay. That's fine. We've got another session coming up in a turn now. Hey, Stephanie! 100% production towards projects. Oh, thank goodness. I was really hoping she'd pop up. And she did. Ace. Right. Um, let's get you in there. Bam. And then... Ugh, Charles Correa, I guess. I'll have more appeal in that city, but honestly... Yeah, Werner, Werner is who I wanted. 100% production towards space race projects. But look, it just... You know, sometimes the engineers will dump out in one turn and you're like, ugh. It's really annoying. I got the wrong one, but never mind. Oh, it's because I got a great engineer from this. Oh, uh, all of the engineers got dumped out on the Peace Prize. That's why. Uh, got you, got you, got you, got you. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Still, though, getting Stephanie was a huge deal. I'm going to be boosting these Lagrange stations into the sky very rapidly now. Okay, is the... Okay, the diplomacy point thing is here. Now, it still says people are split, so I'm going to give it a go. I'm just going to give it a gamble that I could get myself the points. I don't know if that's going to be the thing. More people are going for this. I'm going to say double for writing. And then wild cards. The time will come. I mean, should we just have a quick check and see what sort of governments people are generally speaking? Autocracy, autocracy, monarchy, monarchy. Autocracy, monarchy, monarchy, autocracy, oligarchy, democracy, fascism, fascism, monarchy, monarchy, classical. I'm not really getting a sense of a, of a huge thing, but I think monarchy is probably the biggest. So we'll go for monarchy like so and I'll put a few votes in on these two and then yes I will have the world's fair that sounds great okay yeah nope didn't win didn't win somebody else won I think they probably voted down on my points because that tends to happen towards the end of the game there's a Lagrange station and yep I lose two points 257 votes yeah that was I wasn't really going to get away with that. I got a monarchy though. I got, I got that. That was pretty cool. So how many points did I lose? I minus one diplomacy points. Yeah, I needed a bit more of a run up. If I'd won more of those projects through the game, that would have been a real, real like option for me here. But you know, it's all, it's all fine. There's global warming mitigation. Now that would have been helpful a few turns ago, but never mind. Oh, I found another war. 459 gold per turn to go to war with um, Byzantium. Yeah, go on then. Another station into the sky. We're pretty much on full science mode now, which we kind of expected to be, to be fair, but yeah, a bit disappointing. I kind of wanted to see if I could get a diplomacy victory there, but it was not to be. How long have we got left on this now? Science. 19 years, is that it? Ugh, six years, six per turn. God, this is a slow one, this one. I mean, for all its size, the capital's only got 213 production. It's not the biggest, uh, not the biggest productive capital I've ever had, to be fair. One more station into there the sky. Nothing. Future tech again for like the fifth hundredth time. Let's get a terrestrial laser station this time. Terrestrial laser station is done. I must be close now. 49 out of 50 traveling. Temper turn, yeah. That'll do. That'll do. It, 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 this has felt painful. <laughs> I cannot lie. I cannot lie. This has felt incredibly painful, but it's okay. To the Manhattan Project quickly because because we can really um, no but it really is going to make a difference we didn't even get to carbon recapture what a shame world is cooked it is officially cooked and for once it is not me that has generated the most CO2 I'm still generating CO2 but a lot of people are endeavouring to catch me up here so I could have easily started to shrink the world down I think um, oh my goodness look at all these mechanised inventory oh sorry these line inventory against my mechanised inventory yeah, I think I'm going to win. Oh, no. I say that. I didn't even kill it in one turn. That is embarrassing. Woohoo! It's a very, very cool victory. That was fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Uh, only seventh on points. Okay. That's, that's not great. And actually, you can see just how small my empire was. It wasn't the biggest. Peter. Peter did amazingly that game. Really, really, really good. I'm intrigued to see, actually, player culture. Yeah, I never took the lead. I think that was Russia the entire way. So they did really well there. Science, I did do much better, actually. I was winning way beyond half, actually. Probably about 47, 48% of the way through the games. I'll take that. 
gold was mad. You could see these big random drops is where I was actually stealing gold from people in big trade deals, but I didn't even have the most gold that game. That is the nutty thing. Uh, Total Religions founded? Good, good. Actually, whoa, someone just founded a religion really late into the game. Who was that? I mean, it could be absolutely anyone, quite frankly. Who knows who that was? Oh, Saladin. Of course it was Saladin. Last religion. Ah, there you go. Well, there you go. What a map. What a map. What crazy trade routes. 14 food per turn. Yeah, I'll take that. Another 15 fruit there. Lovely stuff. You can see just how many mountains my capital has got in. It's a little bit squished in. I, I was a reasonably peaceful pro through. I mean, I know I, there was a little bit of war, but it wasn't an all-out domination game. I kind of just enjoyed playing it for what it was. I'm enjoying just killing these free cities at the moment. I'll be honest, it's quite entertaining. You get to there. Lovely. Can I... Can I shoot into this one? Hang on, I need the supply convoy in to get the trigger there we go bam oh yeah i love those units they're so cool but yeah good game very good game very good game imagine if we played this as eleanor of aquitaine without the loyal capitals mod on i mean look at the map the map is just full it's absolutely full this is how highlands maps should be this is how ridiculously large the highlands map actually is imagine this was 12 players there'd be so much space but i like the fact there is no space only the frigid north and the frigid south have been unclaimed actually a lot of that has been claimed but still oh i love it i love it i think that's what we're going to do next maybe well we'll see we'll see what the poll i've got a poll out people are voting at the moment we'll see what people say but until then next time goodbye and finally a very special shout out goes to scott stratton major king kong matthew wilkinson salty tech the broccoli midnight oil and truffer daskby for all of your support on patreon thank you everybody for all of your support generally it is brilliant See you in my next video.